Uh, the character of Christine on The Divide is a character that I'd never seen anywhere else before. Um, she's uh, not, it's not a legal show in the, in the sense that she's not even a lawyer at this point when we meet her. She's an intern, a law student intern working at an organization we call the Innocence Initiative, which is like the Innocence Project in New York. And I had known about them since seeing a movie that Tony Goldwyn had directed called Conviction years earlier, which is also when he got the idea to turn this into a long form story of some kind. Um, because what they do there is so thrilling. The idea of exonerating wrongfully convicted men from prison and or death row. And so, so I play a girl who's sort of against all odds, struggling to try to get this guy exonerated from, who, from death row, who she believes is innocent. Um, and the way that that sort of ripples through both sides of the law, the guy that put him away, and um, you know, kind of their families by now, uh, 10 years later, and how much it reveals how the justice system is so broken. Um, so that, to me, the character, I'd never seen anybody quite like that, somebody who wasn't already an expert at their job, um, or who wasn't a complete failure in some way. You know, she's sort of somewhere in the middle. She's, she's not really supposed to be doing this job, um, but her passion is so intense, so she goes about things in very particular ways um, but the cause is something that I feel very fired up about and um, that makes me very inspired by the entire uh, process and every day at work. I spent about two months interning at the Innocence Project in New York um, before we started shooting and before we shot the pilot I only had the time to go there for about a day and just sort of ask questions which you know, was actually slightly more overwhelming than I expected because I thought, well, I'll just go and I'll just talk to some people, see what the day-to-day -day is like. And of course, with any kind of system like that, all you learn is how much you don't know. So by the time I knew we were going to pick up again, I started being in touch with them, and I actually, they were incredible. I thought, can I, I said, can I just come by and hang out? And they said, well, if you have more than a few days and you're willing to sign a confidentiality agreement, you can just be an intern, which is what my character is. So I was working my butt off. I was, <laughs> and I was doing other jobs at the same time, and I was there every day. I was working specifically with one lawyer on one case and I was doing he said well I'll just have you do all the stuff the law students do and if you need help ask one of the other students so luckily for me they were very welcoming to me I mean they all want the show to be accurate and they want it to put their message out there so I had an incredible time and I definitely had moments of thinking I should be doing this with my life but then it's too scary that the red tape I mean that's ultimately the thing I learned the most is that they're so it's so easy to put someone in prison for the rest of their life it's really so shockingly easy, and once they're in, it's almost impossible to get them out, no matter what comes to light, DNA evidence or eyewitnesses recant or whatever. It's just almost impossible the way the system is currently set up. So anyway, so there were a lot of things about it, but I certainly ended up feeling like, I should be doing this with my life. We all should, you know? Because <laughs> once you actually meet people and talk to them, I remember talking to clients on the phone who've been in prison for 12 years. You know what I mean? And, and all you want to do is just, we have to get them out. I mean, you really, I understood. I understood that fire. Definitely. I definitely found myself um, carrying those feelings around with me and uh, and you spend a lot of time thinking about these people you've never met before frankly I mean because as as we were even shooting as stories would come to light about there was one day we were shooting where there were two executions that day you know and kind of reading about that and thinking about it and at least there, there are some few jobs you can get as an artist, an actor, whoever, where you actually feel like what you're doing is a form of activism and what you're doing is kind of contributing to a voice that has the potential to change. And again, I mean, not to get too sort of highfalutin with the world, but every so often to feel like you can, what you're doing with your job is kind of contributing to a, a bigger conversation that can result in some positive change is major. And those times when I was reading that and feeling like, well, I guess today with these, you know, 15, 16, 18 hours of work, I can actually, this is what I'm doing about that. This is what I'm doing to help that. Well, frankly, for me, I mean, the, the thing that resonates with me over and over again about the show is that it ends up, you have to think about your feelings. I mean, it's kind of, you know, listen, it's a downer to talk about, but you have to talk, think about your feelings about the death penalty and about um, incarceration, 
life sentences. Uh, you have to think about when, and when this new information comes to light in, on our show, right at the beginning of the show, it's sort of DNA evidence that they couldn't detect all these years ago. And so what you start to realize is, you know, that information couldn't have been found and all of the people who are in prison now, who were put in prison before these things happened, verdicts that were decided, people that were executed without that information being available. And I personally feel like that issue um, that has to do with kind of the death penalty and uh, life imprisonment, those are some serious issues and every country has a different relationship to that. And um, and a different relationship to the US's relationship with that and their own feelings about that. And I think that, and even within the United States, state by state, it changes. And I mean, it's a different thing if you get arrested for something and you're in Texas. That's a very different thing, for instance. So even state by state, there are different feelings about that. And what I appreciate on our show is that, you know, we're not just dealing with, it's not a show that's set inside the Innocence Project and it's just the good guys. It's definitely trying to set up the fact that we give equal weight to the district attorney's office and the politicians and the police commissioner and people who work in the Innocence Project. So it's not just saying like, here are the good guys, here are the bad guys. That's part of the idea of the show, you know, is that it's not, that's not at all we're trying to do. So um, that's part of why I think it will, it will appeal to a much broader market because I feel like that issue of how we deal with justice and what does that word even mean? And, and when do you know when you've achieved it? Is it even achievable? I'm not entirely sure. And so I, that's part of what I think will be exciting for people to watch.